quick sort of review on one of these LiPo battery uh, emergency starter stroke charging uh, gizmos that I bought. This does come in a big box with loads of adapters, but I only carry because I only need the unit itself. Is that it's a Florian Model T3 uh, LiPo battery uh, emergency starter. It's also got several other features on it. They are it's got an emergency uh, high intensity LED red light flashing for distress uh, breakdowns, etc. and It's got a very powerful uh, light at the front, which can also flash. It also has various other charging adapters for it, uh, which I don't carry with me. You can choose between 12, 16 and 19 volts. So you can charge a 19 volt laptop with this if you want. It does come with all the uh, bits and bobs. You've got uh, an input there and you get a mains charger or a 12 volt battery charger so you can charge this on the move uh, so it's quite a useful bit of kit it's also got an LED sorry a USB output so you can charge USB devices but the main part of this is its ability to start a vehicle here you've got quite a large Anderson power connector and I'll show you on the bike now I've fitted to the battery, I've just bought another Anderson power connector and I've fitted it to the battery directly there. So if I have a flat battery, I simply plug this unit directly in, like that, and it will start. I've had an issue with this before. Uh, the issue I had, I did have a flat battery when I went to uh, Wales. And the problem I had, because the battery is sort of recessed down there, I couldn't get these clips properly on the battery. And that's one of the problems you can have with these units. You need a very good connection with these and the battery. As with all jump starting, it needs to be a very good positive connection. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this a little go now. It has got reverse polarity protection in these leads. And basically, you don't need to turn it on or anything like that, you just plug this in put those to the terminals of the car or the battery that you want to start and give it a go. <coughs> it's a bit of a fiddle uh, disconnecting the battery to my bike so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and start my brother's van there. My brother's van is a two and a half litre diesel. I'm going to disconnect the battery totally, put this on and see if it starts. So let's give that a go now. I'm going to disconnect the positive of my brother's van. I'm going to put the negative clamp on the negative there, give it a little shake, make sure it's a good connection. Hey, you dickhead. <coughs> so, that is now connected. As you can see there, that's a direct connection from this unit to the battery. There is no, the battery is totally taken out of the equation now. It is purely. So let's let's have a look and see what uh, see what that does. Go on, Ingo. Come here. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. <laughs> 